Well, she is the woman in charge of the world's largest children's museum. The new president and CEO of the museum, Jennifer Pace Robinson, is a 29-year veteran of the museum and was recently named one of IBJ's Women of Influence. I'm pleased to be joined by Jennifer. She shares her vision uh, for the museum. Jennifer, congratulations on the new role and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Yeah, well, as I mentioned, you have been at the museum for a long time, almost three decades. You have seen a lot. Uh, you've seen the uh, institution evolve and change and grow. As you think back on the past uh, 29 plus years, uh, what are your thoughts for the next number of years and how do you see that uh, your experiences shaping uh, your vision for the museum? Right, so the, the first thing that always comes to mind is let's do more. Let's do more of the same. Um, we have uh, walked in some really uh, wonderful footsteps of previous leaders. Uh, the vision of our one of our first leaders, Mrs. Compton, to create this building that we're in now and these huge 10,000 square foot galleries. And so I really see my role to, to capitalize on the work that has come before and, and just keep pushing it forward. So um, you'll see uh, lots of engaging activities for preschoolers, for families. We're gonna be a tourist destination to come during the holiday season, during spring break. Um, we're gonna continue our international relationships and make more international relationships because that really allows us to bring the world to Indianapolis through our Take Me There exhibits. Um, and on the horizon, we've got some really big dinosaur bones. Yeah, yeah. Well, in your roles at the museum, you've really grown up there, literally uh, an interpreter, an exhibit manager. You were the lead originally on, on Dinosphere, and that's going through another iteration. So some of those tried and true exhibits are going are gonna to remain. Right, and that's so important to our business that we know, for example, with dinosaurs, almost 90% of the people who walk through our doors go into the Dinosphere exhibit. And when we started that experience, we did so much market study of what do kids want to see when they walk in the door? And dinosaurs is right in there near the top. And so creating that Cretaceous world was amazing. Working with the advisors, we've been digging for the last five years on a top secret site out in Wyoming uh, called the Jurassic Mile. And so that's what we're doing next. We're gonna be repurposing the space so you feel like you're traveling back in time to the Jurassic world and you're gonna be encountering the giant specimens that come out of that space. Yeah. So a lot of very cool things and, and things are different now. You know, when I project managed the original opening in 2004, technology has come so far. So that mm -hmm. confluence of amazing real objects, but also the backdrops and the sound and the light that you can use now really will help people feel like they're somewhere new. Yeah, Jennifer, obviously COVID has impacted uh, all of our lives, business industry, you, you name the segment of the economy. How has it impacted uh, uh, the museum world, if you will, especially going forward? Has it changed the way you're going to be doing business? Right, so a couple of um, pretty amazing things have come out of what has been a very hard time for lots of institutions. But the sense of community and sharing uh, our successes and our wins and what hasn't worked has really kind of gelled um, the field as a community and, and kind of a really great way. And going forward, we're really talking about the mix of the virtual and the on-site. And one thing that I found out is it takes just as many people uh, to do the virtual as it does to mm -hmm. to do the on-site. And so making sure that we have that right mix um, because we were able to reach families in England and schools mm -hmm. in Kentucky. And let's keep that momentum going, but make sure that we look at all the resources we have available and that we reserve enough for those in-person yep. visitors who are coming starting to come back again. Jennifer Pace Robinson, the new CEO at the Children's Museum of Indi Indianapolis. Jennifer, thanks so much. Uh, you've got a lot of energy and I know a lot of great ideas. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much.